Who's my nigga? 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 What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mike from sneakerlife.com and this is a huge video to me personally and you know I just wanted to just make this video to help out a lot of people because this happens every day. Personally I've been scammed probably about 20 times being a seller and a buyer which you think as on a seller standpoint how could you get scammed uh, it's actually pretty easy if anybody's selling shoes through PayPal I suggest you always use signature confirmation you know I had someone purchase some shoes for a large amount of money and they wanted next day shipping what I did was I shipped them out to the address they wanted me to the next day as soon as they got them they submitted a dispute saying that they didn't get them on that PayPal even though they were the ones that gave me the other address so what did PayPal do instantly? Ruled in their favor, gave them my shoes, and gave them the money back. I'm left with no money and no shoes. So that's one thing for sellers, be very careful. But at a buying standpoint, I've been scammed so many times. I finally have buckled down and I need to tell you guys, it's like a wise man telling a little kid, hey man, you gotta do this. This is what I'm telling you. Listen to what I have to say. You know, when you're looking for shoes, always do your research, know exactly what you're getting into. I know there's a lot of hype, excuse me, a lot of hype with shoes now. People are paying insane prices and that's how it's just going to go, you know. Uh, of course, you can always hook someone up in the sneaker community, but you got to know at the end of the day, if you don't get the shoes for retail, you're going to have to, you're going to have to pay. Supply and demand, that's how it's going to be. Welcome to the sneaker community. Uh, but... If it's too good to be true, a lot of people buying on Instagram, websites, crazy Chinese websites. If a shoe, if Yeezys are only $40, Concours are only $40, you know it's too good to be true on Instagram. You see, let's see for example, some Galaxy foam posits for something crazy. Just do your research and know exactly what you're getting into. Check out their reputation. You know, they always say pay through PayPal. Be careful of sellers using Western Union. You know, that is true, but at the same time, I actually have customers that do Western Union me money because we have a good bond and they know that I'm a trusted seller so I can't really say don't Western Union someone someone money but look at their reputation that's what you gotta do really that's what it comes down to if they accept PayPal go through PayPal PayPal will protect you for the most part but one thing to be aware of when you're buying through PayPal and someone sends you an invoice Make sure that invoice says every single detail about the shoe, including 100% authentic. If there's any word, custom, replica, any, make sure it doesn't say custom in the invoice or they can, get, they can get over on you. I just recently learned that. So you have to be very careful about that. But again, too good to be true, stay away from it. Just listen to me, trust me. You'll be better in the long run. eBay, you know, really, if you don't get the shoes for retail, you want to go over to eBay, but when you look at eBay, eBay is like turning into Flight Club. The prices are ridiculous. So what, you, what I suggest doing is messaging the seller, say, hey, I'll give you this much through PayPal invoice. Again, make sure they send you a good invoice if they agree. And look at the photos. You have an opportunity to look at every single photo, make sure they actually have them in hand. It's not a pre-order. A lot of people like to do on eBay is they get the stock photos from Google and they just upload them. No. Email them or message them and say, hey, can you send me some tag pictures to my email? I would really appreciate it and I would like to buy these shoes for this amount, whatever, however it goes. Do that. Check their feedback. Honestly, I wouldn't buy from anybody that has below 95% as their feedback. Go through their feedback. Read all the comments, what people say, because I'm sure they've sold more than one shoe. You know, eBay is really the most sketchy, but at the same time, safest place to buy shoes. Uh, again, the prices are pretty crazy. Craigslist, I always check my local uh, Craigslist to see if I can get shoes because usually there's good deals on there. Sneaker conventions, you know, those are the best places to get shoes when you have cash and you can just give it to them. That's really almost the safest way of getting scammed. If you really want to be just, if you want to like get the shoes for sure, then I suggest going to sneaker conventions, going to the stores, calling up whoever you can. But otherwise, again, Watch for tag pictures, reputation. It's so important. If you guys notice, if you look at a sneakerlife.com, I always make sure I try to put my logo in each, almost every single picture, just to show that we actually have them. You know, most people they'll write on a piece of paper. Here's here's another. Here's just a crazy story. I'm sorry this video is going on so long, but 
what I was, this is way too good to be true, I don't know why I did it, but the dude was selling some uh, dead stock corks. I was like, oh, that's my size, I need them. Um, I think it was like 550, which is, you know, really, that's actually a good price because corks really do can go from 550 to 1000. So I believed in it. He sent me tags, pictures, his phone number. Turns out it was a scam. He was, um, let's see. There was one guy that contact. Uh, 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 there was one guy that contacted him, and he said, "Hey, can you sell these shoes for me?" So he went ahead. He wrote the tag pictures. It all turned out to be some messy scam. So even tag pictures, you can never be too safe. But the thing about everybody thinks, "Oh, PayPal's got me protected." La 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 la. You know, yeah, whoop de doo, they have you protected, but they will hold your money for like 10 to 20 days, and it's just a waste of time. Why spend 550 not get the shoes and then have to wait like 20 days to get your money back? That's just, that's too much work. So, I mean, really just be safe, listen to my tips, and hopefully you don't get scammed. That's, that's really the best thing I can tell you. If you guys need shoes, you know you can hit me up. I try to do my best and stay competitive with the prices, but again, it's supply and demand. Don't hate on me for it. But, hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is your boy Mike from SneakerLife.com, and you know I'll see you on the next video. Rate, comment, subscribe. Until next time, y'all. The top is where I'm going, I'm there, I'm wanting all that, yeah.